Good morning. It is 641. Welcome back to a great day on this Tuesday, 26th day of November. Lou, Jackie, and Jason Ron, here. you're hidden behind the Probably premium the, lighting the display. display. <laughs> and yeah, he is here. Ron, one of our, the car guy. One of our non-sponsors here is blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, obviously it's getting dark earlier and it earlier. Is. It seems like it Ron, is. the car guy. Yep, it sure is. And you get done watching the news in the afternoon, the next thing you know, it's dark. It is. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes it's dark before I leave work. Oh no. Yeah. I, yeah. I hate I it when that happens. So yeah. it's definitely dark when I come down here. <laughs> so, <laughs> we need to be safe, and that's what you're all about is safety, right? That's right, that's right. I was gonna talk a little bit about uh, some lighting upgrade okay. uh, today. And and we've all seen um, you know, different cars, especially some of the higher end cars, seem to have kind of a blue cast to the right, lighter, yeah. brighter lights and stuff like that. And, and those are, are typically like a, an LED or, or what they call an HID, uh, high intensity discharge light. But you can take any car and, and upgrade the lighting to it. And um, th there's there's a simple simple way. I brought along a display here from, uh, uh, th this is actually a product that's available through Napa, um, but you can buy them at other retailers as well. I don't you know have any, any marriage to Napa or anything, but they had a really cool display. Um, anyway, I want to talk about the, the three different types uh, of lighting uh, that are available to upgrade onto your, your vehicle. Uh, the first one that we've got on here is what they call the safety light. Okay. And that bulb will project about 60 feet further than a standard headlight that's in your car now. Wow. So it gives you a little more distance, <clears throat> but more importantly, it, it, it gives you the, the, the peripheral vision as well so uh, so if you drive a lot like in rural areas deer. and stuff deer in the ditch and stuff like that it, it gives you a wider wider spectrum okay. of light um, so so it's all about matching up the the bulb if you're going to do an upgrade to what type of driving you do mm -hmm. so so if you're in an area where you need you know wider you know vision and stuff like that in your vehicle that'd be an excellent choice uh, the other one that they've got is what they call the white light and that ball basically has the same distance as a standard vehicle, uh, but it's a lot brighter of a light. Um, so you know, if you're in town, you just it just feels like your 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 lights just aren't that bright. Or sometimes you're you're looking at the street lights and you're wondering, are my headlights on at all? Or you're mm. squinting a lot. Of light. Exactly, mm. exactly. That might be a, a good alternative. Um, and, and it also, the, the brightness makes it look like some of those cars that, that have the HID headlights, you know, just the, the really kind of bright, cool, cool looking headlights, at least in my world. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, and that's what they call the, the white light. Again, it doesn't project any further or any wider. It's, it's, it's more about visibility, um, mm -hmm. and it makes you more visible as well. So maybe the deer will see you coming before you run into them or something. Okay. Right. And then the last one that they've got is what they call the long light. And, and these are the bulbs that I actually put in my vehicle, and they project out an additional 80 feet. Whoa. And I was concerned at first because I'm like, okay, anything that projects out that far and is that much brighter, I'm going to get people flashing right. their bright exactly. high beams on. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. it, it isn't. Special hand signs. <laughs> <laughs> Some gestures here and there. Exactly. But, but that isn't, that isn't the, the case. I mean, I haven't had anyone, um, you know, flash me, and yet, um, you know, I'm a little bit of a doubting Thomas when it comes to, to stuff like this, and so I put them in, and, and the first uh, evening that I drove it, I'm like, wow. And, and then as I turned into the driveway, you know, and it shines on the garage door. You can really see Oh, it. yeah, you're just like, I mean, it's, it was just a night and day difference. Now, is this as simple as just having the bulbs replaced, or do you need to readjust the headlights at all? It's, it's simply changing the bulb. It's, okay. it's that easy. I mean... You know, if your headlights were out of adjustment with your old bulb, it's mm. probably going to be even worse with these. But it's just a matter of, of taking out the, the encapsulated bulbs and, and putting the new ones in. Now, and you're something done. Uh, I want you to talk about, too, in case somebody decides they're just going to go to the, the, the auto parts store and pick these up and install them, it would not be a bad idea to put some gloves on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Either, either a a latex or rubber glove or even a cotton glove. And you can get those there too. You can get, they're really cheap. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And why is that? It'll burn out. Uh, oftentimes, no matter how careful you are, when, when you try to put these bulbs in, you've got the, the glass portion of the bulb, and if you touch that with your finger, the, the, the natural oils out of your skin will deposit on that glass part of the bulb, and that creates a hot spot. And so when the bulb lights up, it's hot where that oil was, and it, it'll burn out the bulb. And Yours are especially oily. 
<laughs> if, I learned all anything, that motion. if I learned anything from my father was don't touch the ball. Uh, but now, do these uh, lights work with any vehicle, or do they make them in different kinds, or besides I, those three brands or the three kinds? Well, the, the, these are the three different styles, um, and they, from what I've seen so far, uh, they make this style for pretty much any car that's on the road. Now, if you had yeah. a you know, let's say a BMW that had high intensity discharge headlights and separate ballasts and stuff like that. To change over to these would be like a downgrade. I mean, they're, they're probably not going to fit. Okay. But but anything that that you know would be a retrofit or an upgrade, they're going to make these bulbs for. Now, what are we looking at cost difference? Um, As opposed to like the regular bulb that I have in my car right now that I pick up at just a regular shop. T typically, they're about twice the money. So, okay. so like a bulb that you would buy, just just a, a regular halogen right. bulb, um, is probably around you know twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then these will typically run about 40 bucks a oh, bulb. That, that much? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're, you're looking at about $80 for a set of these. However, oh. uh -oh. <laughs> ding, do you ding, have ding, such ding, a deal? Ding, 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 ding. Wait, no, the bell's right here. If you want the bell. There we go. Here, there you go. Ding, 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 oh. ding, ding. Blue light special. He doesn't let just anybody use that. Bell I know. Either. I know. He'll be wiping it off and stuff. Yeah. And I'll and I'll get an invoice in the mail. There will be a fee attached to that. <laughs> bell. No <wear>. famous <laughs> bell. Okay. We we uh, when these came out, um, th there was a special uh, special buy on them that, that we got through Napa, and so uh, we've got a KCWI TV 23 special, and it's 23 dollars a bulb installed. Nice. My keys so, on me. No, so for, for $46, <laughs> we'll put a pair of these bulbs in your car, and, and I, I, I challenge you to, to call Napa or another retailer. I mean, I mean, you will pay more to walk in and buy the bulb there mm -hmm. than that, and we'll install it for you. But, but we got a special buy on them, and, and when they're gone, they're gone. When can I get in? <laughs> Stop you know, in this afternoon. I will. I'm Do serious. It. I yeah. am. I am. And, yeah. and you have them for... And then we'll get a testimonial for you, too. Okay. You know, yep. Sunday night, we had lights no for test. about, for oh, about no, two No, just a monial. You know, we got maybe a half inch of snow Sunday night. I live out in western Urbandale. And so in the two hours that that snow had fallen, the route I take in, you could see what two hours of deer tracks looked like on that road because they hadn't been plowed. Oh, no, it was, it was unsettling that. how many deer had gone across that road. And you think about 80 feet with that long light and how much time oh, that yeah. would buy you, you know. Yeah, or even 60 feet with the uh, the safety light, you know, in the in the wider vision. I mean, because mm. I mean that makes makes all the difference in the world. There, there's more deer out there than than people probably realize. Mm -hmm. well, let's say I don't have forty six dollars to switch these out. If I see someone with those fancy blue lights, how hard is it to, to steal those and put them in mind? Does that take a long time, or can I? Is it? It, you know, that off, oftentimes uh, it involves wiring. What? Uh, that's just, I mean, that's good advice. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that's like changing a, a, an incandescent bulb to a to a fluorescent bulb. I mean, they've got a separate hey, ballast. Times are stuff. tight, you know. I don't know what to tell. <laughs> I'll talk to Ted. Maybe we can get an advance on your salary. Okay, or something. that'd be nice. <laughs> I try that every other week, and it doesn't work. Every Thursday. It might mean it. something coming from me. Yeah, that's I true. I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but again, if you do have any kind of car questions, you have a special place where people can ask you we, questions we and do. you answer them too. I do. I yeah. do answer them, answer them every day. It's uh, askronthecarguy.com. You can just go there, click on contact us. It comes right to my inbox. Or you can call me at Westside Auto Pros. All right. And one more time, the deal for these cool lights. $23 a piece. Wow. KCWI Channel 23. Mm -hmm. $23 a piece installed, so, and you, you want to put in two. You're not going to put one in. Your car look like it's blinking. Unless you're turning left all the time. <laughs> okay. You ever find yourself wishing we were like Channel 30 instead of <laughs> Channel 88? Yeah. Whatever yeah. happened to that? <laughs> well, that's a great deal, though. It is. Right. It, is. it is a good and deal. And how can they get a hold of you and make an appointment to come in? Uh, they can either go to our website, westsideautopros.com, or you can just call us, 225-9090. Something you can pop in, wait for. It doesn't take very long. Speak, speaking of popping in, so you'll pop those in. But That's I'm not right. Sure, not sure you heard about uh, the car mechanic that created something that you can help <laughs> pop out a kid. Yesterday we talked about this, and just want to get your take on this and whether or not you'll carry these devices because you have just about anything when it has to come with has to do with cars. You know, we, we have we have looked into this. We've been in contact with the the Argentine uh, car mechanic, mm -hmm. and we have looked at trying to get the the U.S. distributorship. The Odin these. device is what Absolutely. we're talking about. Absolutely. If, you, if they can go to my surface, we have. Have, uh, the Odin device on the surface. We talked about it during. Well, it, 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 is this something that most mechanics go after? Is trying to invent birthing devices, or you, you, you know, know? It, it's interesting you mentioned that because because most mechanics do go about modifying or, or, or inventing tools to make the job easier. I mean, sure. that's how specialty tools come apart. 
And so uh, it wasn't a big surprise that somebody invented this, but it was a little bit of a surprise because it you know, wasn't under the hood of a car. I mean, right. obviously mm -hmm. he didn't get out the, the bench grinder and the welder to make this, mm -hmm. but um, you know, sometimes we walk around and, and I mean, that's just how we think. You know, we look at something and hey, there's gotta be an easier way, a better way, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We make and, light of this. This is actually a big deal because it's, it's, it's actually a big problem. When, when this child gets caught in the birth canal, they have these like tong things that are hard and you've got this soft little skull. So this is really a neat adventure. It, it is, it is. I mean, when you, when, you, when you read the article and it talks about, you know, the, the baby's head's propelled forward without any rigid tools. I mean, yeah. I don't want rigid tools on my head. That no. doesn't sound good. I, and I'm a grown up. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, Exactly. So we'll look into this and we get to get a special on these two. It, absolutely. We'll okay. get a get a twenty three dollar special on it. We'll, <laughs> yeah. But we gotta beat out snap on. I don't wanna see these on the tool trucks and stuff next week. Or snap least. out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you have a round the car guy. We'll be right back. This is a great day.